Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is week three, part number one, and there will be two parts for week number three. Today I'm going to talk about formatting of cells and common format um, issues and common format items that come up. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, also some of the options that you can go in and edit um, that would um, alter the behavior of uh, how, how cells are formatted and, and utilized. So with that said, I'm going to jump right in here uh, for uh, the date here. This is a common thing that comes up is how you want the date formatted. So if I put in today's date, which is February 17th of 2013, you can see that cell automatically correct, automatically changed to a date format when I type that in. But let's say I don't want that format. Let's say I want it to actually say March 17th of 2013. I can go in, I can highlight that cell, I can right click it and say format cell. And I can go over here, I'm going to change it to the number um, tab. And you can see it automatically change it to a date format. But let's assume that I want it to look like um, like this, the day and the date. It'll change it, and it'll change it automatically for me when I do that. Uh, if I want to change it to any of these other formats, I can do that. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and change it to just the the date written out like that. All right. Um, so lots of options there for for uh, formatting of dates. The other quick thing I want to show you is if you are um, if you just want to insert the date rather than typing it out, there's a shortcut, and that is um, Control semicolon, and it'll pop the date in into your cell automatically. All right. And by the way, there is a uh, I'm going to type that over here. I'm going to type uh, shortcut is control semicolon. All right. Then uh, one other quick thing for if you want to do the date as an as a uh, sorry not the date the time you can do control shift semicolon that'll give you the time. All right. So and that that's going to default to your system time that you're that you're using. All right. So what I want to do, I want to jump down here to currency. Um, so if I put in here, let's say um, five hundred and thirty-four dollars and sixty cents. So that automatically defaults, um, changes it to a decimal place, and it and it and it cut off the the zero for for sixty. So let's go ahead and format that. Uh, because it left it in the general format so I'm going to change it to currency and now I can choose the number of decimal places like if I just wanted to round up or round you know round up or round down I could get rid of you know change that to um, zero decimal places and it would change it to 535 um, but I'm going to go ahead and change it back to two decimal places and then I'm going to leave the dollar symbol here you can you can certainly get rid of it and choose from any of these other options but I'm going to leave the dollar symbol and then I can choose from any of these options down here. Like for example, if it was a negative number, it would, um, and I wanted it to be highlighted in red, and I wanted it to be in parentheses, I would just, um, I would choose this option. If I just want a negative symbol in front of it, I would choose this option. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here, and I'm going to change. And you see what'll happen? It put a dollar symbol in front of it, and it put, um, you know, dot sixty cents. So now, if I want to do, let me do negative. Nine hundred and eighty-seven dollars. You see what happens because of the formatting that I did there. The number format. Let's just put in um, two hundred here. Um, you can see what happened. It just left it in the default setup of a general number. Um, that'll work fine for the most part. But if you want to customize them, you can certainly do that. Percentage. Uh, let's assume I want to do ten percent. So that's going to be point one zero is ten percent, not the number ten. So if I do a point one zero there, you can see it's autom it's not going to know that I'm doing ten percent. It thinks I'm doing you know maybe just working with a, a decimal um, number. So I'm going to format cell and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to percentage and I'm going to leave it at two decimal places. But you can certainly change it to um, you know one or uh, I'll change it to one. Now when it's in the percentage format, now I could type in fifteen percent by typing one five rather than point fifteen. And that's because it's the percentage that it's in. Um, so if I were to type the number five 
I'll do it right here. If I were to type the number 5 and then convert that to a percentage, you'll see what will happen. It will come up and it will change it to 500% here. So I'm going to just cancel out of that and delete that. Anyway, so just something to be aware of. You won't be able to type in a whole percentage number unless you're already in that percentage mode. Um, this is auto wrap. Um, as part of, I'm going to show you um, if you've got too much text for your cell, and rather than keep expanding the cell, you can go into the format mode. You can go to alignment, and you can choose wrap text. All right, and you'll see what will happen. It will do that. It will just it will wrap the text a lot in the cell. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to actually copy the formatting down. So I'm going to right click the cell. I'm going to say copy. Now when I go here, I click single click on the cell A8 and now I'm going to right click and now you notice under paste options, I've got paste, I've got I can paste the values, I can paste the formulas, transpose it, formatting. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste the formatting and you see what will happen is it I'm going to hit escape to get out of the copy mode, but you can see what happened. It just copied the formatting now down, not the text or anything. All right. Um, okay, so alignment I want to talk about a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to move these over. Let me, let me copy this over. Oh, I didn't mean to, I meant to cut and paste, not copy and paste. So I'm talk about the alignment here a little bit. So you see here, I kind of have a pretty, um, uh, pretty, pretty good um, size of this row, and so you can see the font by default is at the bottom of the cell. So if I right-click here and do Format, you can see um, horizontal is general, meaning it's going to default to whatever's put in there. So let's assume I want this in the center of the cell. I can change that to center. I can put it on the left of the cell, the right of the cell, I can justify it, um, center it, um, and so let me go ahead and I'm going to put it in the center, and then in the vertical, instead of having it down here at the bottom of the cell, I can put it at the top, I can put it in the center, I can justify it, so I'm going to go ahead and do center, and just do that, like that. So now, actually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to highlight all of these together, I'm going to format them, I'm going to make them I'm going to put them in the center, and I'm also going to put them vertically in the center. And then another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font. I'm going to make them uh, bold. Click right here for bold. And I'm going to change the fill. Alright, and I'm going to make it yellow. And now what I might want to do is I might want to, let's say I have, you know, rows of data underneath these and I want to make this dress this up a little bit more I can highlight those cells I can go up here and change the orientation like I can do this I can angle them like that or I can change them to you know I can go I can make them face down another thing I can do I can go in here and get more granular go back into formatting of the cells I can go over here to the alignment tab and I can change this here and just drag this here and make them, let's say I wanted to only make them, let's do 25 degrees in that direction and now you can see what happens there. So it gives you lots of options here. Um, finally up here what I want to do is show you how to merge and center cells. So let's say you've got a report title up here um, but you want these all as formatted as one cell. I can highlight all of the cells together. Again single click up here in the top left one hold down the mouse key, mouse button and drag drag all the cells you want in that group. Um, un unselect the mouse and go ahead and hit merge and center and you see what happens I put it here in the center. The same um, rules apply here. I can right click, I can go into format and I can go into alignment. I can choose center here and then for, I can choose center here. I can go in, I can put a border around this, I can put an outline put a nice thick border around it by choosing that and saying OK. Um, I can change the background color. Uh, by the way, a lot of the default options are up here. Uh, I'm just in the habit of right clicking and going into format cells, but a lot of these are here like for example bold, italics, underline, um, font color here. So let's change the font color there. 
let's change it to bold and then let's change the background color and this time I'm going to change it to I'll make it light blue alright again these are all in these format options so you can use use them from either um, you know there's font there's alignment there's fill um, so just keep in mind there's multiple ways to get to these different options and then um, there's also over here you can put you know align text left align text um, you know center the text align text to the right um, so a lot of handy features right there and uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you today in this first part is um, some of these options up here you saw how I um, one thing I want to show you is you saw how I put down here January February if I want to auto fill these in I can drag my mouse down there until I get the cross and click and hold and drag and do all the way out to December as an example I can go in over here to the options and I can go under file I can go to option I'm going to skip over the general options um, they should be pretty basic but here you can change your you know the size of your font as an example as your default font uh, formulas I'm going to skip over too those should be pretty basic under proofing uh, you probably want to explore a little bit and go under autocorrect options to look at all of those they're kind of interesting for example um, if you need to put a symbol of some sort in uh, to your document it could very well be here like for example the trademark or the copyright symbol you type these characters like open parentheses C close parentheses it's going to put the little um, trademark there and you can certainly put in anything you want here um, and then replace and then and then you know type something here what you want it to be replaced with here and then click add I'm going to skip over to math autocorrect it works the same exact way but you'll notice for, um, if you type um, as slash angle you're going to get the little angle um, uh, symbol inserted into your sheet so it's pretty handy to use um, pretty handy to know that uh, I'm going to uh, just mention save real quick so right now you can see this is saved to um, every 10 minutes um, it'll auto save I'm going to skip down to advanced and that auto fill that I talked about this is this option here enable fill handle and cell drag and drop and if I uncheck that I wouldn't be able to do that fill in those sequences whether it's like you know you know auto fill in like 1 through 100 or January through December or whatever sequence of events and then the other thing is the auto complete here um, is typically checked by default but if for some reason you want it unchecked um, or disabled uh, go ahead and uh, uncheck it and I'll show you what that does in a minute uh, and you probably want to just scroll through these I'm not going to go through these they're pretty basic um, but uh, anyways um, take a look at them just to familiarize yourself with them and we've already talked about the tool the um, ribbon before and the customizing that so with that said uh, I just want to share with you the auto um, what was it called again it was the I'll show you exactly what it is here so if I type test here and I go down to the next cell and I type T it will it will automatically fill in if there's not a sim if there's not a you know um, another word like it it'll start off like that and you can see it so it's a shortcut um, to do that I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and show you what that option is called I think it was called it's under advanced and it was the autocomplete is what it was alright so if you uncheck that you won't be able to do that so saves you a little bit of time but some people don't like it anyways thanks for joining and I'll be back soon with um, part two take care